So now let's take a look at some of the other airports across the country. We are just getting word now that O'Hare Airport is now dealing with a complete ground stop due to the weather elements there. So if you have some plans to maybe head towards that airport or you're going to connect at that airport, give yourself some extra time and some patience because we don't know exactly how long that ground, ground stop is likely to last. Other airports could have potential delays as we go through the rest of the day. Cities like Indianapolis, Detroit, Memphis, even stretching down, uh, say, into New Orleans as well. As those rain showers begin to make their way into the area, they could start to cause some backups. We're looking at LaGuardia but as a, with a backup, but that's mostly due to volume at this particular point in time. Elsewhere, Denver looking relatively nice. Phoenix should be relatively nice for today. But in the Northeast, it's going to be all about timing with this particular storm because as we go into the afternoon, we're going to start to see a lot more of those showers and even snow showers begin to make their way back into the Northeast. But now we had over to Carl to talk. So let's take a look at the forecast for tomorrow, specifically for the Midwest. Now we are expecting some snow showers in portions of Bismarck and then even in Minneapolis. But the good news, at least with Minneapolis, is it's going to be the second half of the day. So maybe if you live fairly close, you just want to make a day of travel and the morning and the early afternoon should actually be relatively nice. It's tomorrow night that we really start to see a lot of those dicey conditions that are going to be arriving. Cleveland is going to be looking at some rain showers into the morning. We're also talking about Saginaw, maybe even up around uh, the Flint area, looking at the potential for some rain snow mix into tomorrow, but it won't be all day long, and that's going to be the good news. So if, if you know everybody's starting to get a little crazy in the house, you can kind of let some folks out at least for a portion of time tomorrow. Here's a look at Detroit again. It's going to be mostly rain there, but some of those northern suburbs are going to be looking at that rain snow mix. Chicago mostly rain and same thing for Madison, Wisconsin. But once we go just a little bit farther north of that again, those temperatures are going to drop back and we're going to be looking at that changeover into snow, including the city of Minneapolis. But it's a little bit different. OK, well, cities like Atlanta, Houston, not really much of a chance there. But you really don't have to go too much farther north than that. Flagstaff, Arizona, believe it or not, has a 5 to 10 percent chance. We're also talking Salt Lake City. Then you continue to go up a little bit farther. Des Moines into Minneapolis, even Detroit. Again, a lot of those regions around that 20 to 40 percent range. Now, your best chance for the snow is going to be in the extreme northern portions of the Midwest and then also some of those higher elevation portions of the Northeast. But that doesn't always mean this is just the average. This is where it usually is going to be. But we have to now consider where the snow has been the last couple of days. And that is also a big factor because take a look. We already have 12 to 18, even slightly more than that in portions of the Northeast after Argus made its way through. Also five to eight inches already into portions of Minnesota. And then we obviously have some pretty hefty amounts out west and some of those higher elevations where as much as two feet is already on the ground. So those obviously the locations that are very likely to maintain that snow through tomorrow, but we also have more snow that's going to be on the way, even for some places that may not already have it, and that's going to include cities like Park City, Utah, also around Minneapolis. We could be looking at additional snowfall up around Marquette and also around Syracuse. Now coming.